Uh, hey guys, um, sorry for the hiatus on this. I had some uh, family stuff going on, but uh, I'm back and I'm going to start doing one or two of these a week again. Keep going along the little kind of mini course I'm putting out for you guys. Um, this one I think is pretty important and, uh, and pretty cool. Um, because I get a lot of people, you know, showing me different back-tested results and, you know, look, look at this strategy, is this one is good, is this one bad, how should I tweak these? Um, so this is just going to be what to look for in your back-tested strat. Um, you know, what do you what do you look for, what's good, what's bad, uh, you know, what, what can you tweak in different ways, and, and let's just go through that. So most important, right, so we have equity curve profit factor, win rate, risk reward, um, and then the one thing that I think everybody doesn't look at enough is the calendar. So I'm asking you guys which of these are the most important to you. Um, a lot of people will look at um, just an, an equity curve, and let me bring in some examples for you here. Um, you know, they'll look at an equity curve like this, and they'll see a smooth curve and small pullback, smooth curve and small pullback. Um, and they'll say, okay, that's that's good, that's all I need. Um, isn't isn't wrong either, right? And then, uh, you know, people will look at win rate, right? This strategy has a win rate of 77%. Um, you know, they'll look at uh, profit factor, right? This is a 5.5, it's a great profit factor. Um, there's uh, risk reward, right? This is almost two to one, so it's pretty good as well. Uh, and then the one thing that I'm going to kind of bring up today is you need to look at all of these. So you need to create a checklist, and I would write it down on your on a piece of paper, and I'd go through each one, right? What does the equity curve look like, right? Is it too um, flat? Is you know does it have flat points, which may be okay, or does it have pullbacks, which may not be okay, right? Um, is what's your win rate? What's your risk return? Very important. But really what I would say is I would go in I would look at the calendar feature, which I think is a great tool that Trade Ideas in particular has. Um, so if we look at this calendar feature, it kind of doesn't look as good as it was before, right? So if we take a look um, this month, for example, uh, you know, it's up this month. But if we look, we can see on the days that it's up, it's trading a fair amount. Um, and same with this, right? We have weeks and weeks and weeks with no trades, and weeks and weeks and week with no trades, which again is is fine if this is to complement another strategy, but if it's on its own, right? And then the other interesting tab, if you go to summary in the odds maker and go to daily, you can see this is where all the money came from. So let's go look at the strategy. And over the last three months, trading just 100 shares, it's up about $3,000 or 25 with. Uh, commissions and slippage, assuming you pay a dollar um, for 100 shares, and if you're paying any more than that, change brokers. Um, but if we look at the daily, we can see, you know, long periods of nothing, and then, you know, 20 trades in a day, 20 plus trades in a day, right, and then long periods of nothing and 20 plus trades in a day. Um, so just keep this in mind when you're looking through. This is, I would say, the most underutilized factor, right? Is is this area where people will trade and then uh, they'll just they'll look at the equity curve, right? And the thing is, the equity curve you got to keep in mind it's key, it's not going by day; it's going by trade, right? So this up move and this down move, and then this up move again. This could all have been one day. You know, so that means you're just going to have very volatile days. You're going to have maybe weeks, maybe a month with no trades, and then a bunch of trades, and it does look like it has a, a good statistical advantage. Um, whereas if you look at this one, in theory, if you look at just the numbers, this strategy is worse, right? 69% as opposed to 77. Risk to reward almost one to one. But if we go into the same daily chart, we can see, right, we're talking between five and ten trades a day, sometimes higher, but, you know, pretty consistent. And we can also see a pretty consistent return versus risk. And if we go into the calendar, you can see that the days are pretty consistent as well, right? You know, a couple days with no trades, that's fine, right? But most days it's trading, and most days it's um, pretty consistent.
you know, um, it can have positive days with low amounts of trades and positive days with high amount of trades. So that's kind of just my tip on what to look for when you're back testing. Yes, these things, this top bit here, very important, right? You need to have a good equity curve. You don't want a lot of uh, harsh pullbacks. You need all of these good things in your favor, but don't forget the calendar. So write that on your list that you're going to go through and you're going to look because if you're getting all of your money in just one day and in one spike, then that just means you're taking a lot of risk on that one day. Um, what you want to have is you want to have kind of a consistent return spread throughout. And then that consistent return that's getting spread throughout will definitely help when it comes to uh, when it comes to just overall profitability, right? So again, we're not looking for the best equity curve. We're not looking for the best win rate. We're not looking for the best risk reward. We're looking for slow, consistent gains. If you're trying to be a trader in the long run, that's what's important to you is just nice, slow, consistent gains. So again, I'll wrap up all these with please, you know, if, if you like this, kind of share it around. Uh, I also give me ideas for what you want to see, questions that I can answer in future videos. I'm kind of going to go through, I think, all the comments of all the videos at the end of next week and do just a question and answer, which I may do a live stream for, but who knows. Um, also, uh, there are links. There's Trade Ideas is very soon coming out with its artificial intelligence software. Uh, they're going to up the price after that. I have a really good deal in the description below. It's um, $1,088 for uh, the odds maker, this backtesting software I'm showing you guys, a year of trade ideas, a strategy built by um, the people at Trade Ideas themselves, an hour um, sitting down and learning the software with a person. Um, so it's a really great amazing price so they will be in the description down below there and again questions ask away and and uh and i will address them in a video probably next week all right guys safe trading